Hello and welcome to another tutorial. We're going to be continuing the capacitor circuit we did in our former tutorial. Let's go on. So, we are going to put our LED into our circuit. We connect another male to male wire to the free thumb tag on our switch. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then connect to your LED. So we get another male to male wire. Let's connect that here. And note, we are going to be connecting our LED to our capacitor. Okay. And note that the part that we have to connect is the positive side of our capacitor. Because don't forget, our LED must point in the right direction. So you see, the LED, if we connect it this way, current from the capacitor cannot flow through it because the LED is connected in the reverse bias direction. So we take it and then flip it. Note if you did the right connection, that's okay. But if you did the wrong connection, just correct it just like we have done. So that current can flow from the capacitor through our LED and back. Good. And also don't forget that the positive side of our battery is also, connect, is also connected to the right side of the LED. And this is how current is going to flow through the entire system. Let's close our switch and see. If we close our switch, we are expecting current to flow from here, charge our capacitor, and then come back. That is one side of the circuit. When we close this side, we expect the current to flow from the capacitor through the resistor and get our LED to light up. So let's go ahead and see. Okay, so we've charged our capacitor. This part, current has flown through, the capacitor has charged. So let's find out if it has indeed charged by connecting the other one. Again, keep an eye on the LED whilst you do this. Whilst you connect the other part of the circuit. Let's do that. Do you see that? The LED flashed. Let's do it again. We charge our circuit. Discharge it. Keep an eye on the LED. We charge our circuit. And we discharge it. Charging and discharging. This is really exciting. Again, note where all the different components are connected. And on this side, you connect our LED to our capacitor and then from that same part to the positive side of the battery. Make sure your connections are done nicely this way. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we are going to be learning how to use the knowledge you've gathered so far to create a real life solution.